مرحبا سلام عليكم هاي everyone my name is نسيب المسكري studio owner of rock and rhythm Oman from the Sultanate of Oman uh, thank you Lupit for reaching out to me you have sent me few questions about the struggles that I have faced in 2020 as a studio owner and I would love to share with you my experience so let's go through your questions question number one what are the current restriction you are facing and how are you managing the restriction so rock and rhythm uh, was open in 2014 I had a small studio and then in 2019 I decided to open a bigger studio it was a dream come true. I had lots of plan. I was super, super excited about it. Unfortunately, it didn't last. I had to close the studio. And in March, the government decided to shut down many activities. And I didn't take it serious at the beginning. I thought like, okay, it will last for one month, two months, and we go back to normal. But it took so long. Uh, I think recently only uh, the government allowed the fitness studios to uh, reopen, I believe in September or October, something like that. Anyhow, I decided to close my studio in August and I'm glad I did that. Uh, because I realized that it's not about the space, it's not about how big is your studio and how many stu uh, poles you have, it's about the passion. I love teaching pole, I love watching my students achieve their goals and the environment that makes me happy. And as I said at the beginning, I was so happy about it to have a bigger studio. I was so excited, but I didn't feel comfortable. Um, I didn't feel happy. I was so stressed out. Um, I didn't feel home. It wasn't the same feeling that I had when I was in my old studio. Uh, I'm glad that I took that decision. Uh, my family supported me. Uh, even though I had a second thought to keep that studio uh, or open a medium size, but um, my family didn't encourage me to do so. Uh, I felt that I could invest in a different things and keep my money because I felt like I put so much effort, so much energy, so much money into that studio and... Um, it's a no no uh, anyhow um, I'm going to change the structure of uh, the business uh, I will no longer uh, teach group classes or host workshops I have decided to teach uh, private classes and I'm working into giving uh, different packages so everyone can afford it um, I will start teaching in January, inshallah. I, uh, yeah, I just uh, had a baby. So uh, I'm just taking a break right now. And inshallah, in January, I'm, I'm going to start teaching. And I'm so excited about it. Okay, so question number two. Do you keep in touch with your students? Definitely yes i do and uh, from time to time i like to text them to check on them and i do have uh, students who left the country and uh, they are in touch with me sometimes i as i said i keep in touch with them and i text them um do you offer any alternatives to studio visits no, but I'm planning to do so, uh, not only in Oman, but in Middle East and in Gulf countries, uh, especially that Paul is not that popular. So I would love to share my knowledge with, uh, with others. What do you need the most help with? Uh, well, I think, I don't know if it's the answer of the question, but what I was thinking is uh, Paul community need uh, to have an online learning platform I, I know that we have a lot of online learning but i feel that all the platforms that we have they are just focusing on specific pole dancer uh, pole dancers which is great but i feel that um 
uh, we need to focus on other pole dancers or give opportunity for those who just started or have experience for eight years, seven years, and uh, learn from different people. As I believe everyone has different styles, uh, different knowledge. So it's just to give an opportunity for other people and to have a, a big online learning platform to bring everyone together. Um, so that's it. And I want to say to all the studio owners who had to close their studios, don't feel bad, don't feel sad about closing your studios. Uh, everything happens for a reason and uh, you never know what will happen in the future. Please be positive and uh, yes, that's it. Ma'asalama, goodbye.